The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T-minus 50 seconds. We're transferring to orbital internal power. Endeavor is now running off of its three onboard fuel cells. Coming up on a go for auto sequence start at T-minus 31 seconds. TLS is go for auto sequence start. T minus 27 seconds and counting. Endeavor's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. T minus 18 seconds. 15. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Endeavor and the launch pad from acoustical energy. We're go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Four, three, two, one. Booster ignition and liftoff of Endeavor, completing Kibo and fulfilling Japan's hope for an out-of-this-world space laboratory. Houston, Endeavor, roll program. Roger, roll, Endeavor. This is Mission Control Houston. Endeavor's roll maneuver is being completed. It is now going into a heads-down position on track for its flight to the International Space Station. Flying at 400 miles per hour, one mile in altitude, and seven miles downrange already from the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour's engines were throttle throttling down as the orbiter passes through the area of maximum pressure on the vehicle. Now 50 seconds into the flight. Three engines on board are throttling back up. Endeavour flying at 1,100 miles per hour, 10 miles in altitude, and 10 miles downrange. At liftoff, the fully fueled shuttle boosters and external tank weighed four and a half million pounds. The total thrust at launch was six million four hundred and twenty-five thousand pounds. One minute, 33 seconds into the flight, Endeavour flying at 1,900 miles per hour, 17 miles in altitude, and 16 miles downrange. All systems continue to function well. Endeavour has three good main engines, three good power generating fuel cells, and three good auxiliary power units for the hydraulic system. We'll be standing by for a burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. Combined, the twin boosters provide 5.3 million pounds of thrust to propel the orbiter towards space. All right, there it is. Uh, the uh, the uh, rocket, rocket boosters just separated from the Endeavor. It's moving towards space right now, about two seconds minutes uh, and 20 seconds as you hear uh, into this flight. Uh, it looks like everything is going the way it's supposed to go right They're now. Craig, uh, uh, hour, Craig Ferguson, uh, himself an astronaut, the former commander of the Endeavor, uh, is uh, joining us on the Endeavor, phone, as is John Zarella, our correspondent, who's been covering these uh, space missions uh, for a long, long time. Uh, 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 Chris Ferguson, uh, uh, Ferguson, I should say. Uh, uh, Chris, uh, so far, so good. Looks uh, like all, all systems go. Yeah, this is great news, uh, absolutely. Uh, we're glad to see him off the pad. There you can see one of the views uh, looking down from the external tank at the bottom of the orbiter. Of course, that's a, that's a new view that we've added uh, since Columbia, uh, just to inspect for any, uh, any ascent debris that may fall off the tank. But so far, everything looks great.